Hey guys, sorry if you guys were trying to get online. Uh, I had a real struggle with my orientation of my iPod, so I'm just going to go and check my screen. So now I, ha I know I have to have the button on the left and turn it on the right. That's a bit of a drag. Sorry for those of you who hopped on twice and I cancelled the upload. So there we go. So I'm just going to find us on the videos on my computer so I can see any comments that are coming up. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm Heather Boyd Wire. I do all kinds of wire art and jewelry videos. I do live streams every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Unfortunately, it's not a great time for people overseas. Uh, maybe sometime I'll do another live stream on the weekend during the day, but for now, it is what it is, and I really appreciate everybody that comes on. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, uh, please hit the subscribe button and push the notification bell so you'll know when I go live. And I'm just going to check in on my computer and see what's happening. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to hold up a project for St. Patrick's Day. So let's just go to my channel and see where this video is. Usually I can, here we go, live now. So I'm just randomly, oh, there we go. So perfect. So I can see if any com comments come in and there we go. So like I said, sorry for those who tried to hop on twice. I'm still getting the software um, down pat for these live streams. Hi Sharon, how are you? Did you try to get on uh, earlier? Because uh, I tried twice and my orientation didn't work. So now I know how to do it. Now I'm seeing you. That's awesome. That's fantastic. So I'm glad you could make it this week. That's too bad that last week didn't uh, work out for you, but uh, <laughs> you did. That's awesome. So Sharon, uh, in the meantime, are you doing anything for St. Patrick's Day? I thought we'll do a St. Patrick's Day theme today. And I'm not going to show you guys how to make this hat, but I will put in the comments below a link to the video that I have to make this cute little hat. And it's got like a little clip so you can wear it for St. Patrick's Day. And actually Mimi, who might uh, be able to hop on later in the live stream, she's not in right now. But she did a really cool photo shoot with her doll wearing the St. Patrick's Day hat. So I'll also put a link below to her Instagram pictures with the St. Patrick's Day hat. And she might uh, also do a vlog about that too. So, so we'll see about that. And then also, I'm just going to show you a couple of other ideas. Here's like a little shamrock bookmark. And this actually was done for the Girl Guides. I used to um, volunteer at the Girl Guides doing arts and crafts. So this was one that we did with them. And you could actually do it all in green to make it a, more a shamrocky. And today I'm going to do a beaded uh, shamrock. We're, we were out of power for 12 hours. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Wow. You're used to go to watch a, oh, and an Irish band. That would be fun too. I actually don't usually celebrate um, uh, St. Patrick's Day. I used to go out with friends. Um, I stopped drinking actually three years ago. So I, I, I used to enjoy a beer uh, with my friends, but I don't enjoy that anymore. <laughs> but sometimes we'll go downtown for the, um, the there in Montreal, there's a big St. Patrick's Day parade which is pretty fun. And then the other St. Patrick's thing I have, which are super cute, are these shamrock earrings. And these ones, I'm actually gonna do a tutorial for these and put them up, uh, put that tutorial up on Saturday. So if anybody wants to know how to make shamrock earrings, I'll put that one up on uh, Saturday. And uh, yeah, so once again, there's a little hat. I'll put a link below to the video to that. And before I do the beaded one, uh, just so I could see if anyone else hops on, I'm going to just show you, because this wire is a little thick, I will make a quick shamrock out of this wire. And this is a very similar uh, design to the, um, to the earrings. So basically what I did was I would just make a little loop because you always need something to hang it up with. So this would be more like a decoration but you'll see it's very similar. I'll just hold them up. Very, those are adorable. They're cute, eh? The little shamrocks. So this will actually be like a larger version of the earrings, but I will do a more detailed uh, tutorial for the earrings uh, on Saturday. But in the meantime, I'll just show you very quickly how to do 
the shamrock with a big piece of wire. So it would be great if I had a brighter color of green, but I don't really, you know what I really should do next time? Maybe I'll put a plain background because I find this background's a little bit distracting, but next time I do a live stream, I'll do a plain background. So here we go. So we start with like a little, it's almost like a little heart shape. I'm just gonna see if I have, oh, here's a white paper. So there's like a little heart shape like that. And then what I would do is get some round pliers and just bend up on one side like that. And then we'll bend up on the other side. Try to get it as even as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. So there you see it sort of started like that. Bend these ends up. And then I'm going to use the round form again. You can use a magic marker and we'll just bend it down. So we bent it down like that. So there's this round part's about the same as that. And then we'll bend this up like that. And basically the shamrock is like three hearts. So it's almost like we're just making three hearts, one beside the other. So there we go. So there's one side. I'm gonna have to find the, the best way to do these DIYs on live stream so you guys could really see what I'm doing. But this is just the big one to show you, uh, to show you how sort of the movements that I do. And then when I do the beaded one, I'm gonna uh, turn my screen around. So there we go. And then we'll finish the heart type thing on this side. And actually this one, let me bend it down a bit so you can see where I'm going with this. So this will be, this will form the stem like that. And then this one, it would be really nice if it was a brighter green, but this is all I've got for now. So that's okay. But you'll see with the beaded one, it turns out really well. So already we have our shamrock shape like that. And we'll just bend that. And now I want to twist this end around and cut it. So that side will be finished. So we'll just bend that around and cut it off. It's a much thicker wire than I use, usually work with. This at wire is actually, I think from the hardware store, or you could even probably get it in a garden store. So there's the shamrock so far, pretty cool. And this is the exact design I use for the earrings. So you'll see when I do the earring tutorial that, um, it's exactly the same idea. And this end, you just want to really bend it up and then you're just going to cut the end off and push it inside. And this you could use as a decoration or you make it, can make it smaller as earrings or pendants. So there we go. Super quick little shamrock. That's a dark green, but it's all good. So that's the shamrock and if anybody has any uh, other comments that they want to put up if you guys want to let me know what you're doing for St. Patrick's Day or if you have any other ideas for a fun uh, St. Patrick DIY or what have you that would be great and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a beaded one similar to the this one that's uh, more like a clover it's for the girl guides but I've done them in in green as well so let me cut a longish piece of wire. I'm not quite how long, sure how long it is. If you use all seed beads, it's about 15 inches, but because I'm gonna do a combination of big and little ones, you could glue them to bobby pins. Yeah, that would be cool in your hair. That would be awesome. That's a great idea. Cool. So for this one, I'm gonna use some little plastic faceted beads. Oh, hey Mimi. Hi. Hi. Mimi, Mimi's behind the scenes here. I was just showing the little hat that you did for your um, for your doll photo shoot, and I'm going to link up your video awesome. and your and your uh, photos awesome. below this video. So if if you want to come in at some point, you're welcome. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip the screen. I hope this is going to work, guys. I'm actually not. I'm not going to like flip it. I'm just going to flip my camera and hope it works. And then I'm going to come back in a minute. But I really want to do some of this DIY so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So let me just fix up my setup. I'm going to move that and have to do this in a way that it actually works. So let's see if I do this. Okay, 
just bear with me for a minute while I get it set up. Okay, I have to bring it more this way, I think. Sorry guys, it just will be a minute. Feel free to chat in the comments. Mm. Yeah, this is, I think it's gonna get a little cut off, but you know what, it's okay. I'm just gonna, I'll bring this paper down a little bit. That's what I'll do. If I bring this paper down, it's going to, I should have predicted this, but it's all good. So we're just gonna bring this down like that. That should be good. So do we have all white space there? I think we do. So here's our green beads. Those are the faceted beads. And these are the little seed beads. And what we're going to do is get a piece of wire. When I use the little beads, I usually use a 15 inch piece of wire. But this time I'm going to use a little bit longer just because I'm not sure how it's gonna go with these bigger beads. And basically what I do, it's the same idea of doing several hearts, but we're just going to start by doing a little twist in the wire. I'm gonna keep my eye on the screen to make sure my hands aren't going off screen. So we've got, let me just move this a little bit. So we've got this beginning part and then we wanna form a kind of a heart. So we're just gonna bend that down like that and then we're going to bend this one down. Now this you can definitely adjust after. I'm just doing a nice loose circle because if, if the circle's too tight, you're not gonna be able to get the beads around, around the uh, curve there. So let's start with that. And then what we're going to do is, I think I'll start with the little one first and then a big one. I like this pattern. I've done this before with the hearts where you do a little bead and then a big bead. You can actually even do two little beads and uh, two, or no, two little beads and one big bead. So let's just put some of these on. And this will be a fun little decoration. And if you wanted to, you could even do earrings like this, but they might be a little bit big. If, I, if you were to do earrings, I would definitely uh, just use the seed beads or some small beads. But I predicted maybe using six of each, but we're gonna see, it might end up being too many beads, but let's get, it'll, we'll use five or six of each bead just to see. And I was actually gonna pre-bead it, but I thought, I'll just do it while we're uh, while we're sitting here chatting. I invited my friend Allie to come on the on the um, on the live stream, but I'm not sure if she's going to make it or not because she has uh, young kids, so she's probably putting them to bed right now. So I'm still not 100% sure this is the best time for live streams, but that's okay. We'll we'll figure it out along the way. So let's see how many beads I have on here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six plus that one. Let's put another one. Let me, actually, let me just see how big that's going to be, because I, I don't want it to, yeah, you know what, I think I'm just going to stick with that, because I don't want to run out of wire either. So let's just bend it back. We're just going to bend it up like this, so it goes on a nice bend. So we have six of each, and then we're going to do the same thing here. We'll put six of each, and then I'll bend it around again. This is the type of craft I would have done in schools or uh, libraries because this type of craft, uh, the kids would do the beading and then I would just um, bend it into shape after. And, uh, you know, once the kids get the hang of it, they could bend the shape themselves. But it's a, it's a great craft. I have another one that's similar to this with a, to do a treble clef shape, which is actually really cool. It's almost like a magic trick. You get the kids to put on all the beads and then it's uh, just like basically a straight line of beads and then I go abracadabra kadu and bend it into shape and it makes the uh, treble clef which is really cool so let's count one two three four five so we'll do six of each whoops there we go butterfingers so how's the weather uh, down there you guys like the uh, we thought it was spring and it's we had a snowstorm today so we just never know in the month of March okay, so we're gonna bend it see this is the tricky part you just bend it around slowly like that to make another kind of a half heart so well let's just double check one two three four five six and then one two three 
four, five, six. Let's put one more green one to finish the pattern. One more little green one. And then, because this is just half of the next heart, we have to do this kind of loop uh, to get to the next stage. So I'll get my round pliers and I'm gonna just bend it around like that. Okay, we'll just bend it around so it holds its shape like that. There, so we have two half hearts. So now we can start the bend a little bit and let's complete this heart here. So we'll do the same thing. We're gonna put our beads. Now we need a big one. So we'll put a big bead on there and then we'll continue with our pattern. I think it's really cute with the two different sizes of beads. I just find it gives it a little bit of texture and pattern, which is really nice. And it would be really beautiful if you had like lots of different green beads. And uh, if you did it in glass with lots of different fancy glass green beads, I think it would be really sophisticated. You know, you could make a, a necklace like like a pendant like that or or something like that and it's it's if you made a, a one about this size with these plastic beads it's also good for um it's also good for a rear view mirror thing so sharon's got a message this is a perfect time for me because we go to bed early oh that's nice awesome oh very cool and it's windy and cold and drizzy Ooh, yeah that's almost worse than snow because that kind of cold gets into your bones yeah one two three four five yeah, it's like in England, you know, it's where it rains all the time. As long as there's no snow and ice, I'll be happy. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, the ice is tricky. I know my mom is anxious for the uh, the snow and the ice to stop because she's she's in her 80s and it's very dangerous for her to walk outside in that kind of weather. She's already broken too many bones. So um, so when I went, I went to see her in Ottawa this weekend and I actually took her out for a little walk because she, she's not comfortable walking alone. So I took her out for a little walk. So there we go. Looking good so far, eh? So we've got like half of it done. So now let's continue with this side. And I think I'll go ahead and start with the little bead to make it look a little bit symmetrical. So we're gonna go do that and we'll do our six, our pattern of six beads. And we'll just keep going with this. And I think this will be the only project I do for tonight. And then what I'm going to do is link up the other videos uh, for you guys. And and if you have any suggestions for other um, uh, St. Patrick's Day thing, I have done like a little pot of gold before, which was a little more complex. I thought about doing a little leprechaun, but I've actually never done a leprechaun, but that could be cute. I'm trying to think of what else is... Uh, St. Patrick's Day other than like a pitcher of beer which I'm not too keen on doing one two three four five so I'm sure there's some other uh, other cute uh, designs that would be good let's see what we have so one two three four five six so now so instead of doing that loop now we're actually going to just bend it back up like we did on this side I'm trying to think oh you know what I did an extra one there I better keep it I better keep it symmetrical. So even though I did a little extra green wire, uh, bead there, little one by mistake, let me just see if that's right. Yeah, so I think I did an extra one by mistake, but that's all good. We'll just go like that, and then we'll keep going with our pattern. And here we just had the six, so that's good. It's okay if the top one's a little bit higher, a little bit taller, but the side ones will be about the same size, so that's good. So we've got one... And then two, three, four, six, five centimeters with the cold. Yeah, I can, oh, I get you, Sharon. Yeah, that's that's a real drag when the weather is like that. You'll be happy when summer is here. Absolutely. Nice warm sunshine. Do you have any plans for the summer? Any travels? Do you guys have a cottage or anything? We're, uh, we might be going, my parents have a cottage, but uh, we actually didn't go much last summer because my mom wasn't well. So we're hoping to go this summer up. Uh, it's a little far from us, for us. It's uh, in Ontario, so it's a little bit of a drive, but it's worth it once you're there. It's really worth it. So let's do this one. And now we're going to be almost on our last one. So there's our, let's double check. We have, oh, I think I forgot one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's the trouble when I 
cock and bead at the same time, I lose count. So we just need one more set. There we go. It's actually a really good counting exercise for kids. And when they try to calculate how many beads they need, it's a good math exercise. Speaking of math, did you guys know it's um, International Pi Day? P-I? That little it looks good. It makes it look on like a point. Yeah, that you're right. Yeah, it's good. It's it's nice to have that little detail, you know, a little a little extra detail of the the little bead. It's uh and I like your feedback, Sharon. I really appreciate any any feedback you have about the designs and stuff. That's fantastic. There we go. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're on to our last one. So it's going pretty fast. It's looking really funky with these beads. I'm pretty happy with it. In fact, I don't even think I've made one like this before. I haven't made one this big before. Hello. Hello. There's Mimi. Hi. But you can't see her because you can put your hand underneath. Why don't you put your hand underneath? We can see. Oh, here comes Mimi's hand. Where is it? Just down. Wait, it'll come. There's a delay. There she is. Hi. There's Mimi's hand. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, Sharon says <laughs> we're going on our first cruise. We'll be married 25 years. That's fantastic. My parents are going with us. Oh, that's so cool. Your parents and your Do sister. You know, I know that. You know what, Sharon? That's a crazy coincidence because my um, sister and her husband, it's going to be 30 years. They're together. They're married this year and they're taking my parents on a cruise in May. Are you going to Alaska? You might see them. <laughs> That is a such a crazy coincidence and congratulations. That's amazing. That's really wonderful. Wow, it's such a small world, eh? People doing similar things and yeah, I love it. I think it's so cool. Yeah, we, I, we didn't see Sharon last week because she had um, power. Her power was out for right. like 12 hours or right. something. Ridiculous like that. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, and then one more. Six. There we go. Oh, Sharon says hi, Mimi. Hi, Sharon. One, two, three, Sorry, four, my five, throat six. just went weird. That's okay. You want to bring your doll down to try the hat on him? Yeah, and sure. Because we'll, I'm almost done that if you want to run and get her. And then, oh, oh, I actually, I need more beads for the stem. So let's just, we're going to pull this end around here. I'm a little worried they're all going to topple. Oops. Can... That's okay. You don't have to. I showed okay. the hat, so it's all good. So here, here we're going to put it together you now. I was like post a photo on your Instagram or tag the um, people who want to see it on my Instagram. Yeah. I have photos of it. I'm going to put a link under the under mm -hmm. the video. Do I have a video though? Oh, uh, I'll put a link, link to your to Instagram. Instagram. Put a yeah. Link to my Instagram. Yeah. yeah. So we're just going to like we did in the other ones, we're just going to finish the end like that. So here is wow, this is really beautiful if I must say so myself and I cuz I haven't made one exactly like this before. We're going to adjust it in the middle. I'm just going to do in the um, after the, uh, uh, I don't know, even know what I'm saying. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I'm tongue-twied. Tongue -twied. <laughs> so let's just do a few extra beads for the stem. And then we will be done with this. Let's see Yay! how let's see how long the stem should be. Do you do like a Q and A or? Uh, I didn't do a Q and A, but well, I'm gonna hop back on the on the thing after if anybody has any questions. So maybe we'll keep it simple like that. And then to finish it off, I'm just going to cut the end. Woo! It just went flying. And we're just gonna bend the end to keep that like nice and secure. We'll move the beads. And now at this point, you can just adjust it how you need to adjust it. So we might wanna bring these ends in a little bit to make it a little more pronounced there. And this one too, we could just bring the whole thing in a little bit. This, we can straighten it up. Oh, sorry, I'm gotten off the screen now. Oh, you're still a little off there. Or maybe it, it's there's happened. actually a oh, delay, yeah, okay. so it's really it's really tricky. So what do you think, guys? How's that look? Give us a comment. <laughs> oh, that's funny. We're we're going to Bermuda. Oh, you guys are going to Bermuda. That's fun. Sorry, I, I missed the I missed the comments. So now I'm gonna flip my screen. So I'm just going to get. This is where everybody gets dizzy, <laughs> and I flip the screen. So let me. Oh, how did I do it? Yeah, I did it this, this way, way, this oh. way. Oh, yeah, sorry. I probably really 
Made you guys seasick. Speaking yeah. about cruises. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Well, cruises, I don't know how seasick you get because the boat's so big. I don't know. Do you get seasick on cruises? I think I've heard of people getting seasick, but I think... Oh, thanks, Sharon. Like, Super cute. I know my friend got seasick, like, got sick because the taxi driver was going really fast to the cruise. Oh, no. So she was sick <laughs> on the cruise afterwards because Ooh. she was, like, nauseous from, like, the driving. She got car sick. Yeah, but... Do you want to come in? No, I don't. Oh, okay, so Mimi's not going to come in, but she's just going to talk over the video. It's I don't know good. what I look like. So, so this is... <laughs> This is the finished product, so it turned out really well. I'm, I'm super happy with it. And uh, I don't have a video to something like this on here, so I guess if anyone wants to know how to make this one, they have to sift through this nice long live stream to get there. <laughs> and here's I thought you could actually put on yourself for St. Patrick's Day. This one? Yeah. Oh, should, Mimi thinks I should put this on myself. So let's see how we can do that. Let's see if I can, uh, you have to open up the little clip at the bottom. And then we're going to just, I'll just stick it on my head like that. I even brushed my hair for this live stream. There we go. Whoa, that's not too bad. And so we have that. And then we have the earrings. I have no see, no, you won't get seasick. No, no, I'm sure you won't. I think it's, uh, I think boats are much more um, designed much better now. I don't think you can feel a movement once you, you're on the cruise ship. I don't think it you was can just from the car it. that she got that. I don't think you can feel it. No, you yeah. guys are gonna have an amazing time. So here's the one we made today. I had to go right back this now. is the video that's coming up on Saturday. So this one is pretty well like the other one that I made. Oh, where did I put it now? Oh, this one. So that's pretty well. I showed you guys how to make this at the beginning of the video. So it, the earrings are like a small version of these but I actually have a trick to make the earrings so they're uh, identical sizes so that's really cool so that's it for my live stream today um I really appreciate you guys hopping on um Sharon did you have any other questions about jewelry making or anything else that you think um, uh, people might find interesting uh, definitely, um, uh, Sharon, you can, anytime you could put your link to your, uh, your stuff down below on my live streams, if you want to put a link to your, uh, YouTube channels or your Instagram. And, uh, if you guys don't already know, Sharon makes some really super cute little miniatures out of felt. And actually felting is a really, really cool, um, medium I've, I've done. So you need to go. You need to go out there and have a club soda. There we go. Yeah, I could do that. I could, I could have a, I could have a club soda. Maybe I'll put some green, natural green food coloring in it or something. Yeah. So Sharon, uh, definitely, um, people should check out your work too because it's really super cute. And uh, and uh, tell me maybe if you want to um, let me know about uh, felt needle felting a little bit sometime. Maybe I'll try to do a DIY like. Maybe we could do a collab sometime, like needle felting and, and wire or something, because I do a lot of collaboration videos, and I, I know that you're working on um, developing your, your channel as well, but that's a whole nother story for a whole nother, another time, And but I just really super appreciate that you hop on every week. It's it's really great, and, uh, and uh, be sure to... Um, you know, uh, give a little shout in my uh, in my Facebook page as well. If if you guys haven't already joined, I have a Facebook group, and it's called uh, Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club. So if anyone can share pictures of their wire work and stuff on there, which is a lot of fun. We're growing the community. It's really uh, it's really super cool. And on that note, I'm going to I'm going to head off. And uh, thanks everybody so much for watching. And we'll see you next week uh, on the live stream. And Saturday, I'll post the video how to make the the uh, St. Patrick's Day earrings. So bye everybody.